may ask you, uh, addressing the CEO Forum President Omar said, we need to incentivize trade, we need to be transparent, consistent, and productive IPR. Are we doing enough in this time? I think uh, the Prime Minister made some very uh, strong statements at that uh, uh, meeting. He, he went so far as to, well, you talking about Ahmedabad or, or the one Delhi, here? Delhi. Yeah, Delhi, yeah. Um, he, he went so far as to say that it was, he was not just going to uh, improve our standing in the ease of business uh, index, but he was going to make us the easiest uh, country to do business. Uh, Nirmala Sitaram went on and said that uh, we already have the most liberal set of economic terms for foreign direct investment. Now, I don't think that anyone sitting in that room uh, disbelieved or had doubts about the sincerity, as I say, of that particular statement. They all believed that that was the direction in which the Prime Minister was going to take the reform program. But at the same time, I, I think everyone in that room must have felt that it's going to be difficult for this government uh, to cut through the thicket of regulatory procedures, of bureaucracy, of petty corruption that currently embroil and make it difficult for business to carry on e efficiently. So what we have today is a situation where the direction uh, has been very strongly stated. I hope the, the budget that we will see on the 28th of, uh, of this month will, will reinforce uh, and accelerate the momentum. But I think we have to be careful in uh, uh, you know, looking for that dramatic change, looking for that needle to shift 180 degrees overnight. It's going to be a slow, slow incremental process. This said, or that said, uh, the fact is that one thing that business is assured of uh, is that there will not be any unpredictability in the decision-making process. So issues like tax terrorism, or issues like uh, shifts in the contract terms post facto. These are not going to happen. And I think that's a very fundamental uh, foundation on which foreigners and US companies are now going to look at the Indian investment environment. Um, the fact is, for them, this is a huge market, especially for technology intensive products. The, and they are going to be looking, as I said earlier, the companies are going to be looking to actually um, uh, you know, ex leverage this market potential. For India, of course, we are looking at the largest market in the world. So there is a huge scope for bilateral trade and investment. And yes, the bilateral investment treaty should be signed, and hopefully it will be signed as part of this momentum. But I guess all I say is that, look, let's not ask the question, when will we actually see that delivery? That is something that uh, all of us can give an answer to, but I, for one, been in the oil industry 25 years and have constantly asked the question, how far, or when will prices move, or where will prices go, have never been able to answer that correction, uh, question correctly, have never even bothered to answer that question, because you don't know, I don't know. But I do know that what we have seen at this summit is a very clear statement of direction. And that statement, I think, is something that gives us all a great deal of optimism about the nature of the operating environment in India.